All right, real quick video here. This EG4 mini split is a 12K one ton unit. Um, it's hooked up to AC right now and it's also hooked up to these four solar panels over there. I don't remember exactly what the requirements are for the like the DC voltages that you need. I think you need somewhere between like 90 and 380. That's, that's like the range you have to stay in. I think that's like 180 volts. Those are 400 watt panels. But um, I'm curious to see like if one solar panel hooked up would still work. It would still help um, kind of use less AC power. Uh, it is 4.30 in the afternoon right now. Those panels are facing west, so they're getting basically the best sun in the afternoon. And it's showing here that hopefully you guys can see it. It's showing here that the mini split is using 1,020 watts and it's all coming from PV. So what I plan to do is just disconnect one of those solar panels and retest it and see see how much uh, solar three panels will do. And then I'll do the same thing for two panels and then I'll just leave one panel and see if it'll offset the mini split use. So let's start disconnecting. You guys saw the last uh, couple videos I did. Um, I was talking about some used panels that I got. And so we're gonna do some more testing on the used panels, but I was waiting on this PV disconnect switch um, that I got from Amazon. It's like, I think it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. And so I'm gonna put it as a disconnect for for this mini split. Let's see. Yeah. So that way I can test some of these panels without having to do that one right here. There we go. All right, so I just made this one a little extension here. So now, when I do some testing on the solar panels, I should be able to just pop this breaker on and off, and it'll take the load off from the mini split. All right, so this is my PV kind of disconnect, and all I'm gonna do is hit that disconnect switch, come over here, unhook one of these solar panels, hook it all back up, and then turn back the turn back on the PV disconnect and we'll check the app and see what we have. All right, I just turned off the PV disconnect and we're immediately pulling a thousand watts AC input. So we'll go disconnect over here. See what we get. Oh man, you can't see what I did. Anyways, I disconnected that fourth panel. So all we got left is three panels. All right, ran into a little problem. Uh, yesterday I was doing this test where I had four of these panels with different series and then I would pull up the EG4 uh, monitoring app for the mini split and the monitoring app would tell me that the mini split was using 1050 watts and it was coming all from solar. So I um, turned off the PV disconnect switch and I would disconnect one, one solar panel, put the other three in series and then I would uh, turn the PV disconnect back on and then I would check the monitoring app. Well, the, the mini split doesn't like that. <laughs> It would make like a loud kind of beeping noise for about a minute and then all the pv that it was recording would just kind of stop and it would go back to using ac so um <clears throat> i turned off the uh, mini split turned it back on and it still it wouldn't recognize that i had any pv it just wanted to use ac input so what i ended up having to do is almost like a hard kind of all the way restart so i would turn off the mini split with the app and then i would turn it off at the ac disconnect i would wait like a minute i would turn the ac disconnect back on and then I would turn the air conditioning um, app on, the mini split app, 
and then it would start working again with PV, but it took me a while to figure it out. But. All right. <clears throat> Yesterday when I did this test, it was about 4.30 p.m. and the mini split was registering that it was using 1,050 watts and it was coming all from solar. It is 4.45 p.m. and those solar panels um, right now are doing about 720 watts. And then the other 300 watts are coming from AC. So that's a bit surprising that, um, I mean, that's probably an average of, you know, 240 watts per solar panel, which is <laughs> not that good considering they're 400 watt panels, but it could be the angle of the, the, the panels are in. I don't know. Um, that's why I'm gonna kind of do the whole day's worth of testing to see how much of a difference there is. So, but just off the bat, um, not very impressive. <laughs> Okay, just refresh it yeah 720 watts uh, is the max those three panels are producing and the other 300 is coming from ac all right that was a quick test and i kind of suspected it would uh go that way i remember when i bought that mini split the operating voltages were between like 90 and 300 but i just went on to signature solar's website and i'll kind of read it off to you guys and i'll try and kind of post a video within this video but this is the spec sheet off of the mini split hybrid. And so I'm going to scroll down here to where it says electrical specifications. And then it says electrical DC. And then it says the, the rated voltages. Uh, the range is between 90 volts DC and 380 volts DC. So you need a minimum of 90 volts DC in order for that mini split to start working. And then you need the max PV input is 380 volts DC. So which kind of makes sense why <clears throat> our four panels work, our three panels work, but the two panels wouldn't work. And so in the last video where I was testing those used solar panels, we hooked up a voltmeter to the solar panels, those used Q cells, and they were registering around 39 volts open circuit. So we'll just put here that the VOC was 39 volts. And then I originally had four panels hooked up to it. So four times 39 volts equals, I did the math already, it's 156 volts. And so the mini split voltage range, so mini split voltage range was 90 volts to 380 volts. So, <clears throat> when I had four solar panels hooked up, it was 39 volts times four, it gave us 156 volts, and of course it worked, it's within the, the range here. And then when I, did, when I disconnected one solar panel, and I connected three in series, let's see, what did that come out to? Three times 39. 117 volts, so 3 times 39 equals 117 volts. So when I hooked up the mini split with three panels, it worked. Uh, but as soon as I took off one more solar panel, and we just did 2 times 39, and that is 78 volts, it wouldn't work because it was less than the the operating voltage range, you need at least 90 in order for it to kind of register that there's PV input there and start working. So unfortunately, I was hoping that maybe like one or two would, you know, um, kind of help offset a little bit of the AC, but it doesn't work that way. It looks like you need a minimum of 90 volts in order for it to start to, in order for that mini split to recognize that there's PV input and start working, you need a minimum of 90 volts. So it looks like three of your kind of typical 400 watt panels is going to be the bare minimum. Um, in order for that mini split to work. Another thing that was surprising was uh, when I had three of those solar panels hooked up, <clears throat> the max uh, kind of voltage I saw, or not the max voltage, the max kind of the mini split was able to use from those three solar panels was uh, 850 watts. So if I go to the calculator real fast and do 850 divided by three, that's 283 watts is what each one of those 400 watt solar panels <laughs> was giving. So it could be that that's just what those solar panels are going to give you, like 280 watts. Uh, it could also be the angle. Um, I just had them leaning up against the wall. Um, I'd be curious to see if they can give you a little bit more 
you know, maybe facing south and kind of straight up, not like at an angle like that. But I mean, that's what the that's what the data, that's what the kind of the app says. It's kind of helping. It's kind of recording those. It's tracking that that wattage, and that's what it was kind of uh, telling us is that those three panels were giving us 850 watts, 283 watts each, which is not that impressive. <laughs> But it could be an angle, it could be a bunch of different stuff, but so far it doesn't look good for those uh, Facebook or those OfferUp. I got them on OfferUp. Um, I think I mentioned that I got them on Facebook, but it was actually OfferUp. So uh, they're 40 bucks. It happens uh, every once in a while. Um, you get some panels that, you know, you could tell they're kind of, uh, kind of getting getting old and they're just not performing as much as they should. Um, I was expecting a little bit more out of them. Again, it could be the angle, it could be a bunch of stuff, but um, just off that little kind of test that we did. Uh, it didn't look good. All right, I'll kind of wrap this one up. Um, and if you guys had any questions on the test, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try and kind of get back to you guys.